Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and today I will be reviewing the app AirDroid. AirDroid is a really great app to use if you're busy on the computer, working, and you don't want to keep checking back to your phone or if your phone is charging in the other room or like just somewhere else and like I said, you're at your computer and you don't want to keep uh, dealing with the hassle of going from your computer to your phone, your phone to your computer, all that. Now there are many uh, apps like AirDroid, but I've tested a lot of them and I like AirDroid the most. It's free and it works really well with what I uh, what I need. And basically all, all it does is it syncs up your phone to your internet browser on your computer so you can do basic functions such as uh, send text messages, look up your contacts, add new contacts. Uh, you can go to the Android Market website and download new apps. Uh, and it'll go directly to your phone, stuff of that nature. So what you need to do is you need to go to the market and download the app. It's AirDroid, one, which is one word. And once you bring it up, you're going to come up to something that looks like this. And it'll give you a web address to put into your browser and a randomly generated password. So after that, you're going to go to your browser and type in this address. All right, here we are. And then once you're there, type in the randomly generated password. Nice. That's my notification on my uh, phone. All right, here we are. So this is the AirDroid home screen of your phone. And base, it's a basic setup. It get this is like your this is like your desktop. And it'll get it gives you as you can see on your right It'll give you your phone uh, specs, saying what phone's connected to this, what version of Android it's running, uh, and what kind of uh, what, what your memory is looking at right now, or your internal and external memory. If you click on details, it'll give you the breakdown, how many contacts you have, messages, stuff of that nature, uh, and just a little bit of a further detail on your internal and external storage. You close that out. And then up on top, as you can see right there, is uh, a search for apps widget. And all that is is you search for an app that you want that you read about online or that you want to try to download. It'll take you to the Android Market website. You, all you got to do is make sure you're signed up or signed into your account that you use on your Android on the Android Market website. Uh, download it, hit install, and it'll go straight to your phone. Over here, you have your icons. As you can see, messages, apps, files, market, and uh, messages, you, you can use it to send messages to anyone uh, from like a previous uh, message, like a previous message you had with someone, or you can create a new one either by going in here and press a new message, or you can hit the quick link that's over here, hit new message, and let's see here. I'll send one out real quick. It's a 466453. Put hi. All right, and right now it's sending. All right, while that's sending, I'm going to keep talking. So let's see here. Go to files. Files is just basically everything that's on your SD card and, and pretty much just in your phone, all your apps. You can go to the market just by clicking on that rather than using the widget. So, like I said, go on to the market. It'll bring you right here to the official Android Market website. Let's see. Pressing, pressing uh, the contacts button, you'll add a new contact. Show desktop. I mean, if you have other windows up, then it'll minimize those and show your desktop. Then you have a log off button and then you can lock this screen so you just press it and then you have to uh, re-enter your randomly generated uh, ra randomly generated password so then uh, you can get back into using this. And it has add to favorites, the uh, AirDroid, Team Blog, their Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. Alright, well that's basically it for this. I hope you enjoyed this video. I mean uh, and this app if you were if you choose to download it. Like I said, I highly recommend it definitely since it is free. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have updates every single week. We're pushing for every single day. And then uh, make sure you check out the new ACS report. There's one episode up right now. Uh, give feedback so I know and the rest of the AC uh, Syndicate TV team knows what we can do to make uh, the ACS report a lot better. And uh, rate this video, leave comments. Thank you very much. This is Spotlight Guy signing out.